Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons Online. We are picking up pretty much where we left off last time, otherwise uh, known as uh, Korthos Village. That's the name of it. And we are about to continue with the quest line. I, last time we did a few things inside of the tavern. Uh, we fought somebody deep down in the back yard i think it was or underneath of it something like that but now we have to go to ursa so that's what we are going to do listen cast displays i know you've been helping around with the village but this is serious i've been talking to kaja and i'm convinced lars hayton is alive i didn't find him in the hayton family crypt no not the, not at the crypt if you breathe a word of this to anyone i'll disembowel you okay ursa all right all right Okay, here it is. I saw Lars Hayton at the old Kenneth Manufactory in the flesh. One moment he was there, and then if Hayton's actually alive by Dahl Dorn, he can help find help us. Find him, Druid, acquire his assistance, whatever it takes. If you head out to the wilderness of Korthos Island, you'll see old ruins on the right side of the path. Climb up the top run of the ruins and there will be a passage into the Kenneth manufactory okay well I guess we're going in here and we'll leave it open for which one's the open group private group or public group okay right now we can only do normal if I remember correctly so that is fine that is fine now that we're in here, I still haven't really found out uh, what the difference between these two is, but uh, thank you for, I forget the guy's name, but somebody left a comment on my last video just kind of confirming some of the choices I've made so far have been okay. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you guys for also watching the previous episodes so far. I appreciate everyone that's been uh, stopping by because it, it's been fun checking out this game it's definitely has a little bit of age but nothing wrong with that you know getting used to it combat areas are private instances playable only by you okay i don't already know that so we need to slay 10 enemies rare encounters three and then also 12 discovered hello gunner are you do you say anything Wait, are you a player? No, nah, I don't think that's a player, right? Ah, here we go. <laughs> Hold, are you friend or foe? I'm working for your father, Sigmund. Well then, I could use your help. I have a great imprisoned beneath the island since the age of giants, and they're trying to wake up. The beast is kept in an eternal slumber by the ancient device. Far underground. The Sagwine have sabotaged it but if you can sneak into the underground complex at the bottom of the cliff you can you should be able to reactivate it it's our only hope stopping the sagwing so whenever they have that icon over their head i'm just guessing that's the like a side objective bow down and sacrifice your life to the devourer how about no how do you attack? You have to like double click. It's been a few days since I played, so don't mind me. Nice. What is this here? 30 minutes. Uh, I gain it. Okay. It's been a few days, like I said, so I'm trying to kind of remember the whole techniques of uh, this game, the gameplay mechanics, all that fun stuff. Old Kenneth Ruins. Oh, I also swapped out one of my abilities too. Now I'm using Produce Flame and Berry Fire. I'm still gonna go like the entom uh elemental path for my character at least. 
So this seems a lot more open than the last few areas we've gone to. As far as dungeons go. Nice, that's one done. Click on the quest to open your quest log. So do we just have to like knock each one of these down? Like that's it? Uh, Gunner, Slayer, Redemption, Factory. Okay, here we go. Ursa has sent you to a legendary Lars Hayton, whom he believes somewhere she saw was somewhere in the manufactory. Wait, that's not where I'm at right now, though. So, am I not in the correct area? Hold on. <laughs> now I'm a little bit confused storm reach i don't even know where i'm going here oh god there's so much oh there we go okay so i am going the right way abandoned uh manufactory is right over there maybe i just have to go up here Ooh, got lucky good thing i checked can uh rest and yeah let's do a rest real quick sometimes i i can't remember if it's like right click to do something or left click so i often find myself doing both our quest updated to kill 25 rare encounters zero out of three complete and zero out of 12 explored a mangled sewer grade leads to an old There's abandoned Kenneth manufactory so it's like a dungeon when it within a dungeon within a dungeon and i'm still only level one i changed this xp bar instead of having these five filled in i changed it so that way i think now if it fills up all the way then i level up if I'm reading that correctly, or wait, now it shows all five complete. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll fi figure it out over time. You enter find one Lars of the laboratories Hayton. where decades ago, House Caneth first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these automatons became the Warforge. So my first pet, I know the call the wolf companion. Has been boarded up. Oddly, the work looks very recent. I know my wolf companion one is like my pet in a, in a way. This guy right here, wolf pet. That's like, a, they kind of work as a hireling. This other one though, the summon nature's ally. I haven't really looked up that ability. Or what exactly is the difference? I didn't realize that I would have two of them. Like a hireling pet and then another one that sticks me sticks with me, I think, for like ten minutes or so. If I'm correct. Detected danger nearby. Oh boy. Okay, run. Oh no, I got hit by it. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna break everything in our sight. Pick up the silver pieces. That still looks really dangerous. I'm still getting hit by 
poison right now. We've got a poison debuff. May soon suffer ad additional strength damage. Hmm. I have like investigate, right? Yeah, search. But I don't think we've had a reason to do that yet, so. Go through here. Your strength has been damaged. Speed recovery. A magical barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your path. You hope you can find a way to disable it somewhere. Okay. So we have to find an area where we can disable this. Another doorway. We can rest here. Which one's the rest? The yeah, that one. Rested. All right. So let's see what we got now. What happens if I follow these bars? Or is that not how that works? On the other side of this locked gate, you see a familiar sight. Canid power crystals, like the one you saw in Korthos. But what are these ones powering? They're most likely powering the other gate right there the question is where is the key there's a valve right here okay did that do anything oh <gasps> no I way some alchemical compound coat these humming canid power crystals in a hard protected layer you, upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to flow around your obstruction. Okay. I turn oh. those. Oh, jeez. It's still going off. Turn all the valves for left. Okay. I was not expecting there to be so many valves. Wait, there's a door right here. Ah. Can we get through this door? Door is locked. Hmm. I may be back. I may be back. We'll see. We'll see. That's the one that we need to get through. There's got to be more valves out here somewhere then, right? No, not there. Huh. Would they be higher up? Like in the other area? Can I even go back up this way? Oh, 
Oh god. Do we have a sprint ability? Go, go, go. Ouch. idea how I just got through that, but okay. Wait, I don't see any valves up here, though. It seemed like most of them would be down there, but I didn't see any more. We can try going back. It's fine. Wait, there's four more valves that we have to find. Are there any other doors in here that I missed, maybe? Are going down here again? No valves in there. Do I have to go upwards? That's one, two. Is there another one in here? No. Huh. This episode should honestly just be called Finding the Valves. So that's what the majority of this is going to be at this rate. These areas aren't too, like, it's not like they're huge. It's just travel is slow. But, yeah. Right there. Jeez. Of course, I got hit by... by the poison again. Don't tell me. Are they in here? No, this is where I came in at. I'm pressing tab to see if there's any any options or things we can click on in here and I don't see any. Turn all four valves. Venom trap.
Potion of the Shield of Faith. Stone of the Wolf. Wait, is it dead? Oh my god, he's dead. I didn't realize. Um, wait, is there an area maybe I'm supposed to swim down? Wait a minute. Now it's got me thinking. Redemption. Nothing there. See, it'd be a different story if that thing opened. a level oh uh, we have to go back to the place to level up i see i see i feel like this is supposed to mean something here oh you're kidding you're kidding they're right here they're just smaller Finding the valves. I knew I was th making it too Without complex. Without the alchemical jets coating the canid power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. As the last oh, shatters, I'm the so sorry, guys. Fades into I'm so silence. sorry. <laughs> if you're watching this and you saw that the entire time. I am so sorry for putting you through that where you're probably like, dude, it's right there. It's right there the whole time. It's right there. <laughs> well, oh, we can walk on this. Cool. Who in the flame are you? Who in the flame are you? Who are you? Better question. Oh, wait, you are Lars Hayton. Hello done what my t protectors are gone there's nothing that can stop the Seguin now oh no the Sawagan found me Sawagan so not the air shimmers with devour a magic the Sahagan have followed you in and are attacking in your hands it'll take more than that to put me down Slavagan. they're here Not today, Sawagan. The mountain protect me! This will hard enough to do blocking our escape. What they wanted to send so few. Stay alert. Come, keep coming. I won't die that easily. Depending on some conversations, I may start um, just going through like the dialogue 
but whenever we start a new quest, I'll, I might continue to read that. It's just there are some areas that there's voice acting, so I'd rather focus on those moments than sit there and read every single line. But some of them I will. Cast failed. Critical failure. Father, the shield is weak. We might actually get through this. Just hold for a little longer. Holding. Swahagan magic is gone. We beat them off. This time. Hayden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. Will it never end? The Swahagan will never, or will keep coming until I'm dead. There's one way it can end. If we look together, we can drive the Swahagan from Corthos Island once and for all. I've heard talk like that before. Everyone who stood up to the Sawagan and their pet dragon is dead. What about Kaja? Are you going to let her die too? Or maybe the Sawagan will take her alive to the mountain? Don't talk about her. No, no, that can't happen. I won't let that happen. All right, all right, I will help you. I've been doing research about the dragon. I've come to startling to a startling conclusion. The dragon is not here of its own free will. It is controlled by a creature most terrible, a mind flayer from the depths of Kyber. But there lies the key, and I have a plan which might just turn the tables. I will send a lot a Malgram to meet you at the base of Misery's Peak. When you are ready, talk to him there. I will till we meet again, Lars Hayden. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayton finally persuaded to help, the people of Corthos might finally win their struggle. Fantastic. Let me rest here. Sweet. There we go. Spells we're fine on. I think for leveling, right? We have to go back to the other person or can we just increase here? I kind of forget. See if I can just do it here. That's Reaper enhancements. Enhancements. Zero action points remaining for spent. Okay, never mind. The level up, I think we have to go back to the one person. That finish? Yes. Recalling. Now, I know a lot of you that have been watching these videos have been playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons online for a while a now. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. Okay, sorry, I was listening to that. Um, I was curious, have any of you ever played Neverwinter? Or is there a reason why you choose this over Neverwinter? I played Neverwinter like once or twice before in the past. Um, but I, I'm just curious what, what you guys think. If you have played it and whether you like it just as much, you dislike it, whatever the case is. Also, same thing for Lord of the Rings Online. Do you only play this because of... It's probably the closest Dungeons & Dragons MMO out there? Or do you also play Lord of the Rings Online because that is also created by the same people? 
Um, Lord of the Rings Online is one of those games that I, I definitely want to go to or check out at some point because I know um, they're working on a good amount of updates for that game apparently. But I did want to try this as well, of course. Uh, actually, I think we're okay on resting. I don't. I don't think we really need to just yet. Orthos Island. There's a flashing light over here. Is it telling me to recall? Call now. Where? Where would it be recalling to? I want to exit this place so that way we can go level up and then we can probably come back into this area if we need to that is if we need to so if we go to l bring news back to ursa in the village okay so we still have that equipped or tracked Corthos village Village of Corthos usually. Okay, I was about to read that. Never mind. <laughs> and here we go. Cloak of Faith. Creative Cloak. Feather Cloak. And Thought Spike. Well, we can use this, I don't think. No. What's this one? Creates a shimmering magical field. Creative cloak and feather cloak. I'll either go faith or feather. Transmutation. Actually, let's go Faith. Yeah, I think that's our best one. Wait, did we select it? Oh. Yes. Your finding Hayton transformed the village. It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. Fantastic. Okay, well, for now, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like on it. Uh, I'm going to do my best to record the next one pretty much right after this. I just need to take a little bit of a break before then because I have some other stuff I need to do. Um, but yeah, thank you as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and goodbye.